Welcome back everyone, Charlie Bravo here. I am the Gear Freak, and today we're gonna to take a look at these right here. This is the PMAG-17 GL9. Now Magpul has come out with a couple of different magazines for your Glock series of handguns, and this was their first one. This one was uh, designed for a Glock 17. However, it will fit in a Glock 19 or 26. So it's gonna fit in that full-size, compact, and subcompact 9mm uh, from Glock. So uh, obviously, if you put it in a compact or subcompact, you're gonna have a little bit stick down past the end of the grip there. Uh, it's not gonna be a big deal. It'll lock into place, but just like a factory mag, if you use a larger magazine, obviously it's got some, it's gonna stick out. So uh, not a big deal, but they now make other magazines. They make one for specifically uh, for your Glock 19. They also make a large, couple of larger magazines. They make a 23 round and a 27 round magazine as well. So those ones uh, definitely gonna increase your capacity. Uh, these ones hold 17 rounds, and this is a polymer material, okay? So it is a very rigid polymer material. Uh, you can kinda get a little flex when you squeeze them in, but really not any more than you can get on a regular factory Glock magazine. So I don't know what material they used. I'm sure it's proprietary but it is a very stiff, very rigid material, and I was worried about that. I thought that meant, you know, if this hits concrete, especially in the cold, is it gonna crack? Is it gonna have a problem? And you know what, I haven't had any issues at all. I've had these magazines now for almost two years, and I've dropped them on concrete, I've dropped them in the mud, the dirt, uh, all kinds of different environments in the cold I've used them, I've used them in the hot, the rain, snow, all that. I've never had a problem with one of these magazines at all. Uh, I don't even, I have no issue dropping them on concrete. Uh, they seem to be holding up just fine. So uh, if you wonder how old your magazines are, what you can do of, with P-Mags is you look on the side and you'll see a little a circle. It kind of looks like a clock face. It'll have an arrow on it. And what that's going to do is that'll tell you the month and year that that magazine was made. Uh, actually, it'll be each polymer part. So there'll be one on the body, There'll be one on the base plate, and you can see when those things were made. Uh, these ones were made in March of 2015. I bought them in April of 2015, so again, coming on two years now that I've been using these things. And let's see, this one right here, I've actually, I just unloaded it for this video, but this one has had a full magazine, you know, loaded up with self-defense ammo that entire time. I leave it in my nightstand, it's my spare magazine in my nightstand, and uh, it has no problems. I mean, the spring is still just like it was in the factory. So, you know, a lot of people worry about leaving magazines loaded for a length of time, you know, especially a long period of time, like two years. And I haven't had any problems at all with it. Um, it, like I said, the spring is working fantastic. When I was uh, unloading the, the rounds from it, they would pop out of there without any problems at all. They're popping up. They're not jamming whatsoever. So definitely pretty good reliability, if you ask me. Okay, so they, they do have a long life stainless steel spring in there, and that's probably why I haven't had any problems with having this thing loaded for so long. Um, so that's a good thing. It has a high visibility, and they call it a controlled tilt follower. I haven't had any tilt, so I don't know exactly what controlled tilt means, but um, it, it seems to work really good. I like the high visibility. Just at a glance, I can see if there's rounds in a magazine, you know, if it's in my range bag or something like that. So that's pretty cool too. Not that it's a big issue by picking up a magazine and looking, but it is nice to have that really quick glance and, and see that it's loaded or unloaded. Uh, one of the other things I like, I like the little dot matrix system on the bottom. What it is, it's a, a little grid of molded in indents uh, that you can then paint with a paint pen or in this case a silver sharpie and it will, the paint will get down in those little indents and it won't rub off, won't scratch off as easily. Uh, it seems to work. Honestly, I thought it was a little gimmicky, you know, okay dot matrix uh, marking system, but it's pretty smart. It doesn't take anything to mold that in. It's just part of the you know molding process. It's already there. It's actually a pretty smart little system. And I wouldn't be surprised if we saw other companies who make polymer magazines kind of try to copy that system a little bit somehow. Um, what I used to do, I used to use a soldering iron and kind of melt in a number on there. So it was, I didn't have any issues with that. I don't have to do that with this. That's pretty nice. I don't have to you know, melt something onto there and possibly void my warranty on my magazine. So that's pretty cool. Uh, some of the other things about it, it has a flared floor plate, so it makes it a little easier to strip magazines out of your of your handgun if it gets bound up in there for some reason. And the floor plate itself, it is a easy to remove floor plate. So it's caught, you know, easy maintenance of the magazine. 
If you need to uh, clean that out, it gets dust and dirt and crap in there, which does happen, uh, it makes it easy to remove that. Now, if you guys are familiar with Glock factory magazines, you know those are definitely not easy to, to do maintenance on those magazines. Uh, I'm going to put a link up here. I did a video uh, last year about uh, how to modify your Glock magazines. I took a lot of heat for that video because a lot of people think, oh, how could you do that? How could you ruin those magazines? You know what? They're, they're perfect just the way they are. Well, obviously, those people have never tried to take a Glock magazine apart to clean the dirt and crap out of there because it is nearly impossible. The only way to do it is to cut those little tabs off that hold the floor plate on there. And it, even then, it's still a pain to do it that first time. So uh, this is the way magazines should be. Very easily, you just take some instrument that'll fit down in there. You push down on, on the indent button, pop the floor plate off. Then you can take it apart and clean. Uh, when you're putting it back together, obviously, you just push everything kind of back down into the, to the body there until you can get that floor plate on and snaps right back into place. Very easy. That's the way a magazine is supposed to come apart. Uh, I wish Glock would get that hint as well, but uh, maybe they want you to just buy new magazines. I don't know. But anyway, uh, these definitely, definitely easy to maintain. Now, MSRP of these is $15.95, so very reasonably priced. Um, you can find them, it's a weird range because you can find them for about 12 bucks, you know, $11.99 up through 18 So more than MSRP. I don't know how they're getting away with that. So one of the companies who is the biggest violators of this, if you ask me, is AFES. So your Army Post Exchange, your Air Force Base Exchange, uh, the place where you go to buy stuff on military installations. I don't know if the Navy Exchange is doing it. I don't know if they fall under the same uh, AFES, you know, family. I'm not positive of that. Uh, it's been a long time since I've used a Navy Exchange, but um, they sell them for about two bucks more than what the MSRP is. So on a military installation, you're usually find them for $17.95, $18, $18, and it's really not right, if you ask me. So if you are in the military or you're shopping at a BX or something like that or a post exchange, um, talk to them, okay? If you can show them, just pull it up on your phone, show them the MSRP is $15.95, they will sell it to you at that price. Uh, I initially got mad at the guy behind the counter. This is messed up. And you know what? He doesn't set the price. That's set at their headquarters. Uh, still wrong, but they definitely will they'll, they will make it right as long as you talk to them about it. So don't pay that, you know, $17.95 when you should be paying $15.95 for it. All right, so now let's talk about negatives, ways to improve it, and some of the positives. Now, as far as negatives go, I really don't have any problems at all. Uh, it's boring reliability. It is, it really, it is. I have had no problems in two years uh, with feeding. You know, it, it feeds perfectly. I haven't had any issues that could be attributed to the magazines. And really, uh, I have no problems with it at all. Uh, for the price, definitely a good value. So uh, negatives, I really don't have any. Now, I, there is one thing that I would improve. Uh, if you can see on the side, what it has, it has an indicator hole on both sides to let you know when you have a full magazine. The problem is that's the only thing it is going to tell you is when you have a full magazine. So if I have, you know, okay, I can see down inside a little bit. I might could see if I have three rounds or, or something like that. But if I have somewhere in between there, I have no idea how many rounds I have. I really wish it had an indicator hole probably at the five round mark. So I know if I have less than five rounds, maybe it's time to do a tactical reload, something like that. Obviously, this is not necessarily a super big issue unless you're really, you know, checking your rounds. You know what? If you have time to check and see if how many rounds you have, go ahead and do a tactical reload. That's that's what I would do. You may as well throw a fresh one in anyway. Even if you have 16 rounds, you may as well throw a fresh one in there and have 17, right? So uh, for me, it's not a super big issue, but I do wish they would improve it. Uh, I don't know if that's because of the structural integrity, being an all-polymer magazine, if they're worried about you know it having too much, too many holes and things like that, disrupting that integrity of the magazine but I do wish it had at least one other indicator uh, marking somewhere on the magazine. Um, that's really the only area that I would improve with these magazines. Really, they're very good magazines. I have no issues with them at all. As far as good goes, uh, they are, again, ultra-reliable magazines. Um, two years with no problems at all. Two years of uh, maybe not abuse, but hard use anyway. Um, definitely not, I don't baby my magazines, but you know, I don't, you know, check them across the room either. So, uh, I think they're holding up very well. They look brand new. Uh, you know, wash them off when they get dirt and crap on them and I don't have any problems with them at all. 
Uh, I really like the base plate on them. The fact that I can take it off of there really easily, clean my magazines out, wash them out if I need to, and then let them dry and put them back together and I won't have any problems with that. Um, I didn't think I was going to like the dot matrix system, but I do. Uh, so that's also another plus if you ask me. And the price. Definitely the price is the biggest thing. Um, I don't know how many magazines you guys like to keep for your handguns. I have six for my Glock, and I feel like that's right on that edge of just enough. Um, this definitely makes it easier to purchase that, okay? So, uh, again, magazines can be expensive. Um, being able to find them for in the $12 range definitely makes it easier to uh, just buy extra mags and have them ready for your Glock. So, check them out. Again, these are the PMAG 17 GL9s from Magpul. I will leave a link down below, as I always do, so you guys can check that out. And if you enjoyed the video today, it is always appreciated when you like and share. And if you are not a subscriber and you want to see more videos like this one, find that subscribe button down below, put your crosshairs on it, and pull the trigger on your mouse, and then come back next Thursday for another Gear Freak. Remember, your mind, that's your most important weapon, and it's vital to be armed with information. Until next time, take care and be safe. Charlie Bravo, out.